Cavill talks of a lighter Superman sequel. We all know what's been going on there. We, you, you, if you've watched the shows, you you know what we think about this situation. He looked great as Spider, um, Spider-Man. He looked great as Superman. Um, but there was a lot of missing elements to his character that for me, I didn't identify as Superman like. And Henry Cavill is a professional and he gets hired to play a part and he plays it. Um, I think he's in a position now to be a little bit more vocal about what Superman needs to be. And if given the opportunity, he'll do that. Brian, your thoughts on this possible sequel? Possible? I don't. Doesn't sound like this is for me. I don't think it's going to happen, but it could happen. What are your thoughts? It sounded more like a guy who was talking about what might have been than what yeah. will be. Yeah. To be honest, and I think it's unfortunate. I because uh, I think we we agree with him. I am, you know, all in. I'm a defender of Man of Steel, and I think even Man of Steel left the door open. And I think he's telling you, in his eyes, he felt like the end of Man of Steel left the door open for what he's talking about. Um, Which is, you know, I think that regardless of how you feel about all the decisions that were made, they eventually got this ship to a point where he's hired by the Daily Planet. They kind of show him, you know, in and among the crowd at the newspaper and he's established as Superman and he's regarded as a hero despite having killed Zod, obviously. So I felt like there definitely was a path there to a more enlightened kind of less moody kind of positively empowered Clark Kent. Yeah. But whether it was a studio, whether it was Zach's vision all along, we'll never know. But the, I call it a shoehorning because that's what it felt like to me. The shoehorning of Batman mm-hmm. into BBS yeah. took us almost by necessity into an incredibly dark place. And that's, yeah. I think, what he's referring to. He's like, they made a decision. They went with this storyline. It took us to a really dark path. And that's the character I had to play became darker and darker and darker. Yeah. And we'll kind of never know what the other path that would have been Superman centric would have looked like, or at least I don't think we'll ever know. I don't think yeah. we'll ever, even, even if he, even if he was brought back to play the part, which I don't think is going to happen, just given that we're changing the director, changing the right, it's going to be a different vision entirely. It's almost mm-hmm. like it'll be like a first film, not a, not a sequel. Too bad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we haven't really spoken about it, but I would be interested in hearing your thoughts real quick on this. You know, he's also been talking about wanting to come over to the MCU and do Captain Britain. Do you think that's more of a possibility? Yeah, I had speculated originally that I didn't know that he... I thought Captain Britain was almost like a fan. Fans were just slapping that on him because he was British and he had played Superman. And apparently he actually does want to play a modernized version of Captain Britain. I mean, it, it's like you said about Tom Holland. He wants to be on the A-team. They all, yeah. everyone, wants to, everyone wants to be part of the A-team. I mean, could he do Captain Britain? Of course he could. He can do Captain Britain. I actually think, like I said, I honestly think like it sells him short a little bit. I think his talents are, you know, a little more broad I find Captain yeah. Britain I don't know he'd face some of the same challenges that I think Chris Evans faced and ultimately conquered in solving Steve Rogers as a modern character Yeah. but you know if that's what he's got his heart set on and Marvel wants to introduce that then you know I don't think he's got a huge following right that's a big get you know that's going to sell tickets and yeah. if you put him in any sort of team up um, again that's going to be a big deal so uh, I think he could certainly do it, but I mean, would you want to see him as Captain Britain? I mean, we talked about this before. Like, we don't want him as Wolverine, but we, you know, yeah. I mentioned the idea of him being a bad guy because I think, like, he, I think he can swing that way too. But if he can pull out a performance and be Doom, maybe the disfigured Henry Cavill? Are you kidding me? Not the handsome, yeah, 
guy that everybody, you know, would probably in his head when he looks in the mirror, he sees that. Who knows? Yeah. But that is a very interesting role. Um, Captain Britain seems a bit boring for him. But if Marvel can do what they've done with Guardians of the Galaxy um, and some obscure characters that you didn't really think that they would be that popular, they could probably do the same with Henry Cavill. Again, it's Henry Cavill. He has a following. He's out, he's on the A team. Everybody's gonna come see that performance. Why not? But the more daring and riskier play, I think, is Doom. And if they if they, if he would if he were to be able to pull that off and be on in at that top shelf echelon villain like Thanos, then that's a very interesting proposition. I'm with you because I think that's the more career making play and you see like you know the Witcher is sort of an anti-hero and he plays that very well Um, but I think to his credit I think one thing we've seen in his career is he is not he is not the kind of star like he's almost a better so far he's been a better star than he's been probably a performer because he doesn't have like an Oscar nomination or what have you but he has shown a willingness to be a team player. I think you, if, if nothing else, you have to say what he did in BBS and the Justice League was he basically was like, I'm, I'll step to the side. Like he was not really, he went from being the, the lead in Man of Steel to kind of being the supporting character in those movies. Really wasn't in Justice League a lot because he was yeah. dead. Yeah. Um, and then even like you look at like Mission Impossible Fallout, Man from Uncle, he shares. Like he's not a guy who requires that the universe revolve around him, which I think lends itself to yeah like if he wants to be doomed to the fantastic four like he would do it i don't think his ego is such that he would be like all right i can't i can't be not top build opposite <laughs> to richard like he i think he would do it and he, if he did it i think he could steal a movie yeah yeah and doom is a, is a character that definitely you feel his presence and you're afraid of him and it would be interesting to get Henry Capital to do a character like that. That's, that's, yo, let's hope that happens, man. Hopefully people hear this and like, yo, that's, that's not a bad thing right there. Uh, let us know in the conversation what you guys think of Henry Cavill playing Doom instead of returning to Superman, probably just to play once or twice and then that's it. Recast. Right? Doesn't make any sense. We he, Let's move on. I doubt he's gonna, um, I agree with you, Brian, that he's just talking about what could have been and not what will be. Uh, but let's see. Um, next up, 